All right. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Greg, I love the countdown. Thanks for coming. It's good to see you. Uh, my name is Jeff Gibby. I'm just going to be kicking us off today. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. If you're watching now um, on YouTube or in the future, make sure to like and subscribe. Helps a great deal. We appreciate it. So today we have a very good class on market direction. And uh, let me go ahead and read a legal disclaimer and we'll kick things off. So here we go. Uh, today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and accompanying software plugins. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques you presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Uh, Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software. Any trading strategy muted or any information provided in connection with the company. So hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope our lawyer is happy. Um, as I said earlier, or just a second ago, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe if you like if you like the video, dislike if you dislike the video, subscribe if you want to see more content like it. It does help us a great deal and we do really appreciate it. Our guest today is Silas Peters. Silas Peters is a good friend of mine. He started trading about 15 years ago on the CBOD desk. Um, and he's worked for a lot of brokerage firms before uh, or previously. Uh, he does a really good job. He, today he's going to talk about a price pattern that's a very, very popular price pattern and how he analyzes it and uses it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get him on here. Silas, how are you doing today? Hey, good afternoon. Thanks for having me back on. Good to see you again. Awesome. Uh, good to see you. Let me go ahead and make you the presenter here. All right. Let's see. Did you have a good summer? I did. It's uh, It's been very busy, very busy, just like it usually is. goes faster and faster each year, but how about yourself? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, summer is probably my favorite, and it was great. So. Good. Good job. Uh, in any case, I can see your screen. I can hear you. You sound great. Um, Time's yours. Go. All right. Awesome. First off, I want to say thanks to Mr. Jeff Gibby and the Metastock team for having me on. Uh, always a uh, great crowd, uh, great organization, great charting software, and uh, pleased to be back on the show. So thanks for having me back on. Uh, let me get the question box out just so I can see that. I usually have that up and going. And uh, can everybody out there in internet land, uh, see and hear me as well. If you can just type in a, a one or a seven or a yes or a heck yes, that would be very helpful. I know uh, Jeff said we are clear. Okay, perfect. All right, so again, my name is Silas Peters from Trades Trending and really uh, excited to be here today. Got quite a crowd. And let's see, uh, let me move my mic for you. Okay, there we go. All right, is that better? Perfect. All right, so how's everybody doing? Ready to get started here? We're going to talk about price action is king, how I cried the code to more profits with a simple three-step strategy. And this really is my bread and butter strategy. This is what I started with almost, gosh, probably a little over 15 years ago now. Still use it to this day. I know you're going to ask me what markets does it work in? What time frames does it work in? And the answer is it checks all those boxes. It works in all markets, all time frames. And that's what I love about it is about price action is it's universal. So let's go ahead and get rolling here. We must take a moment to read this from the regulatory governing bodies and who our attorneys require us to share. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results or is substantial risk of loss associated with trading. Only risk capital should be used to trade, i.e. you can lose money in trading. So now that you know that, probably seen the risk disclaimer before, let's get to the good stuff. Now, this strategy is unique, and I really call it my 15-minute trading blueprint, and I've been using it for close to 20 years now, continues to absolutely crush it. In fact, it's it's my number one entry confirmation tool. And the mo best thing about it is its simplicity. It is truly a mechanical, stress-free, emotion-free trading method that can be applied literally on any market or time frame. So let's get right to it. And we're going to just keep things simple. Now, my wife is very smart, but my wife is not a trader and she can identify these patterns. Now, I've used this strategy with a $2,000 account 
$20,000 accounts and even $100,000 accounts. Use it every market situation. The 08 financial crisis, roaring bull markets trade through debt crises, government shutdowns, presidential elections, flash crashes, and more. From scalping and intraday trading to swing trading for a few days and position trading for weeks and or months, you can do this with small or large accounts, and it can take as little as 15 minutes a week if you wish. So before we dive into this, let me introduce myself, who I am, and maybe why you should listen to me. Again, my name is Silas Peters. I am a proud husband and father. These are my two beautiful blue-eyed, blonde-haired beauties down the bottom left. I was standing from my alma mater here at the University of Alabama. Three days after I graduated, I sold my car, packed up my belongings, and moved to the Windy City, the great city of Chicago. And it's here where I cut my teeth in the commodity markets at the Chicago Board of Trade. And I was bitten by the trading bug and never really looked back. While there, I helped run a global trading desk, placing and managing books of trades across the America, Asian, and European sessions. Working with large block order flow for hedge funds, banks, CTAs. What does that mean? It means our 24-hour trade desk was placing, executing, managing trades in the size of several hundred or thousand contracts, multi-six-figure and seven-figure position sizes. Sizes where a single tick in the movement of a particular market meant maybe $300,000, $500,000. It was not for the faint of heart. And I've also been part of building and managing multiple futures and equity brokerage firms from managing operations, trading, back office sales, support from the ground up. We built firms from scratch, the brokerage units with several hundred clients and block trading for clients doing several hundred option contracts and four and five figure stock share order size. Also worked for a private family office where we managed around two and a half billion dollars covering everything from investment portfolios, tax and financial planning, real estate holdings, timber, farmland management, you name it. And then I hold or have held these various futures and securities licenses. And then in 2016, it launched our publishing firm. This is where we developed a community with thousands of traders and investors that use the education and tools that I've developed over the years to help them become consistent and profitable. Now, Let's talk about my journey. It was not always easy. There was a learning curve, several obstacles and hurdles on the path to where I am today. The first step was obviously learning. School cannot, does not teach real life experience in the markets. In the beginning, I made money, made a substantial amount of money. Was I lucky? No, but ignorance and greed cost me my profits. I blew up an account, blew up others in what I like to call revenge trading. Who here has been involved in revenge trading? Took a small loan of $4,000, a little over 50 grand, only to give it back to the market. And these were extremely humbling experiences. I almost gave up, almost quit. Nothing seemed to work. I was always on the wrong side. But you know what got me back in the game? I was in a dark place, but I went back to the very first trading setup I learned almost 20 years ago. And guess what? I got back on track. I started banking wins again. I had gone off the reservation looking for that elusive holy grail, but my journey ultimately led me back to where I had first started. So I went back to my roots, worked my repeatable process, and found overall consistency. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. Does anybody's trading desk look like this? It's a bad joke. I found this on the internet. thought it was funny at the time because I feel like it's what the perception of what those on the outside looking in, think this is what trading is about. Tune in to CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox News, whatever. This is not what trading is. In fact, my desk did look like this in Chicago for obvious reasons, but I've since paired back to a handful of monitors. But this right here is unhealthy on your eyeballs and will likely be unhealthy to your trading account. Now, who here is a victim or has been a victim of paralysis analysis? Per Wikipedia, it's a state of overanalyzing or overthinking a situation so that a decision or action is never taken, in effect, paralyzing the outcome. I'm raising my hand. I've been there, done that. We know 
trading is not easy, but it can simplify. We're going to simplify that process today. And that is my promise and my agenda that we're going to learn a simple and mechanical setup together that is repeatable regardless of the market or time frame. So I'm going to ask you at some point during the presentation, have I fulfilled my promise? And I hope to see a lot of yeses. Now, some of the examples I'm going to show you look just like this. We're talking very clean, simple, mechanical, structural setups that include entry, targets, and risks. Like this in GE, this was a 36% move to the upside, followed by a 26% move to the downside. This move in Barnes Group, a 21% move to the downside, followed by a 63% move to the upside. Here we have Bank of America, 28% move to the downside, 60% move to the upside. Gold on a four-hour chart, we have an $1,800 per contract move followed by a $900 per contract move. E-mini S&P, we've got eight points, two and a half points, six points, four points, all in a single session. Everybody see the potential here. You Forex traders, Aussie Yen, Aussie Japanese Yen, 150 pip move, 440 pip move, 160 point pip move. We like to see these little smiling faces. That means our target objectives have been met. So with all these examples I just showed you, can it be too simple? Like I said, we know trading is not easy. It is not easy at all, but it can be simple. See, when I got started, I was probably a lot like you, sifting through hundreds of different strategies, system setups, as you name it, try calling all kinds of stuff. Most of it was garbage. Single most important part of this journey was when I learned to keep it simple. Once I got rid of the clutter, the fancy blinking gizmos and indicators and started focusing on price action following one simple pattern, that's when it all started clicking. So if you're sitting here as a new trader or a struggling trader or even an experienced trader, I'm about to teach you my foundational go-to strategy that got me from a struggling trader to a winning trader. I'm telling you right here, right now, that this is a simple mechanical setup that anyone can learn. And you will keep this in your trading arsenal for years to come. And in the end of today's workshop, I'm going to make an offer you can't refuse. How you can join my team with a specific set of tools and a plan that will help shortcut not only your learning curve, but also the time you need to spend looking for quality setups. So let's get right to it. The price action pattern we'll be discussing today is the one, two, three pattern. Who here has heard of the one, two, three also referred to as a one, two, three top or bottom. A lot of you here, a lot of yeses, surprisingly, some, a couple of no's, but this is one of the most fundamental technical patterns in the textbooks, talking about technical analysis 101, but highly, and I mean highly, overlooked by most traders. So this pattern is price action based. And guess what? Price action is king. And speaking of king, did you know this? Did you know that McDonald's and Burger King have different ways of choosing where to open new restaurants? McDonald's does tons of research. They look at maps, population counts, traffic patterns, competitive analysis, on and on and on until they find a perfect location for a new store. Burger King approaches it a little differently. They wait to see where McDonald's opens up a store and they open one up across the street or down the block. They get the same result with a lot less time and effort. So when we relate this to trading, we can let all of the Wall Street traders and institutions do all the research on which stocks to buy and sell. But all we have to do is look at the price action, which takes into account all of their fancy processes. Basically, we're the Burger King to Wall Street's McDonald's. Let's talk about the setup. Again, it's price action based. The pattern is comprised of a low, a higher high, a higher low, and a break of that higher high in the case that we're going long, inverse if short, 
It anticipates a change in trend from up to down on a break below the two or B point and anticipates a change in trend from down to up on a break above the two or B point. So the strategy usually occurs at the end of trends and swings, can be an indication of a change in trend and can be also found with, within a trading range. It works extremely well when the pattern sets up at significant areas of support resistance, head and shoulders, tops and bottoms, double tops, double bottoms, and more. So let's talk about the basic mechanics. We're gonna start with identifying one, two, three bottoms. This is when we are bullish or looking to go long, meaning we're looking to either say buy the stock, buy call options on that stock, expecting it to go higher. We are bullish, we are getting long. Now we use one, two, three tops when we are bearish or looking to go short meaning we're looking to short that stock, short that commodity, that currency, buy put options, expecting it to go lower. So you see price makes a, has a, a intermediate term high, pulls back, retraces back higher without taking out that number one high. We have a one, two, three top, and we're looking to short on breaks or closes below the number two. Now, one of the great things about one, two, three setups is you don't really have to worry about the first two legs. It's not like you have to be glued to your screen watching the setup unless you're you know, scalping, but we'll take that out of the equation for now. All you need to do to cash in on the one, two, three setups is spot what it's about to go past the number two. So let's get into some examples. Seeing is believing. I'm going to start with one, two, three top examples. So follow along with me here and feel free to ask the questions as you need. And this is a daily chart of the Australian dollar, the 6A futures. Now, if you don't trade futures, you can trade the uh, FXA, the ETF, Forex traders can trade the AUD, USD and Forex. Same pattern, same setup. So here we have a new number one point. Why? Because it's a 52-week high. Now, we don't require a 52-week high or 52-week low. We'll talk about ways to dial that in to find more setups. But in this example, we're going to talk about a 52-week high. So here is where that is by the number one high. You can see the markets have retraced, pulled back up, giving us our number two. As we stop printing these lower highs here and pull down, we get a number three we're looking to short on breaks or closes below the number two. Now, this price right here could have traded up to here, up to here, up to here, as long as we didn't take out that number one high. So you say, Silas, this is great. I pretty much know the rules of the strategy. I know where to get in. But what about the other important aspects like Where's my risk? Where are my targets? All great questions. The important parts of the recipe. So our initial risk is going to go above the high of the number one. Our target is the distance between the high of the one measured to the low of the two measured down, which is about 225 ticks in this example. So you're going to see, yes, right off the bat, we have a one to one risk reward ratio. And that's okay, but we can typically do better. How do we typically do better? Well, we have to let the market move in its anticipated direction, materialize in its anticipated direction. So as we start breaking down and taking out lows, we can move our risk to where? Where is the next logical spot? Either above the number three high or even to break even. So we can quickly cut our risk now by say, 50, 60, 70%, okay? Now let's look at a one, two, three top pattern on Walmart. A daily chart, we have a new number one because that's a 52 week high. We get a one, two, three. Again, we know days in advance where we're looking to get in, where we're placing our risk and where we are looking to place our targets. The distance between the high of the one measured to the low of the two is about five bucks down here in this example. You see we reach our $5 profit objective. Let's talk about one, two, three bottom examples. 
Same setup, same rules, but only to the inverse side. This is a 15 minute chart of the E-mini S&P. So if we're on an intraday chart, whatever time frame that be, does it make sense to look for a 52 week high or 52 week low? No. So how we define or find a, a, a high or a low to start our count is defined by an intraday high or intraday low. So that means we're going back to the opening session, the Globex open. This is a new session low, so we get a new number one point. We have a one, two, three bottom. Let's talk about entries. A couple of entry methods. Aggressive traders may work a buy stop, a tick or two above the number two high, and you get triggered into the trade. Alternatively, one that I like to use is either A, wait for the market to break and then come and retest, or let the market come and hook back up for a second confirmation, a second confirmation pass through. So depending on how you choose to enter, you may miss out on some trades. If you work a buy stop here, sometimes the market will zip up, reach profit target and leave you at the train station. That's okay. But what can also happen by waiting is sometimes the market will come up, will hook back down, and it may not come back up. It actually may drift lower and stop you out. So the second confirmation pass has served me well in my trading. This is a weekly chart of Apple, a hell of a way to catch some longer term position type moves. This is how you can manage longer term portfolios. So here we have a multi-week low. We have a one, two, three bottom, a double bottom as well. You see we break above the number two on this large bullish candle, go sideways for a handful of weeks, come down, hook back up. That's our confirmation to get long Apple. How we do it? Buy Apple stock, call options, call spreads, sell bull put spreads, whatever your flavor or style may be. All right, let's talk about failed trades. Now, you're not going to leave me, are you? There's no holy grail in trading or life. This is a trade I probably took on my life account. Market's going higher, establishes a new session high. One, two, three, top. Aggressive traders would get short on a break below the number two. Or if you wait for the market to pull up and hook back down, you're short on this entry right here. You're up maybe one or two ticks or points. If you sat on your hands and didn't do anything, you're stopped out above the number one high, or if you utilize any type of money management, you're stopped out above the number three high. But guess what? We get a new chance to get in. This high is greater than this high. We get a new count, one, two, three. One, two, three short ends up being a nice profitable trade. This is what I call a no trigger or avoided trade. It is what it is. It's no, neither good, bad, nor ugly. So here we have a one, two, three bottom looking to get long here. The market trades lower, takes out the number one low. One, two, three bottom looking to take out the number two to get long, takes out that number one low. We start to count over one, two, three, finally able to get long on this third attempt. Now, let me tell you what I like about these situations here. What I like is when we have this occurring, we have lower price, lower price, lower price. We're also likely have some type of divergence going on, meaning an oscillator of some, type, of some type, MACD, RSI, stochastics, is making higher lows when price is making lower lows. That's what we call divergence and can be a good piece of icing to add to this strategy. So let's talk about the pattern made uh, pattern trade management again. Confirmation of entries on a break above the two or B long for a short or a close below the two or B point for a long. Exit strategies. I will tell you if you're only trading one contract, whether it's one futures, one currency, one option, one share of stock, target the distance between the one and two because it's uncanny how more often than not that price will come off and tag that and then reverse. If you're trading multiple contracts, multiple shares, multiple option positions, I'd say, hey, take a third, half, two thirds off at that distance between the one and two, 
and then manage or trail your balance to whatever works for you. There's a ton of different ways to do it, whether that's using trend line, uh, candles, uh, PAR, SAR, FIBS. I like to target good old fashioned supply and demand. Now I've showed you that this setup works in any market, whether it's Pips and Forex, Pepsi stock, Potash or Pot stocks, Pork Bellies or the Polish Zloty. I've also showed you that it works on any time frame, whether you're a tick trader, five minute, hourly, four hour, daily, weekly and more and for any style. So what is your trading style in here? What is everybody's trading style? Are you more of a scalper? Are you a swing trader? Are you a day trader? Are you a position, long-term investor? What is everybody's trading style? Let me see in the chat here. We've got swing, uh, day and swing, swing, scalp, tick, intraday, weekly options, all good, all good. Because what I showed you, this pattern works regardless. It works regardless, but you have to figure out what your bread and butter is. I'm not going to sit here and say, ah, this only works on a one hour chart of Apple. It only works on a, on a uh, daily chart of Bitcoin. That's not the case. It does not matter what time frame or what markets you choose. These are some of my favorite markets that I like to use this pattern with. All right. So up to this point, I've shown you example after example. Let's view some real trade examples. Not to say that we just went over were fake examples. Those are real examples by all means. But let's look at some trade examples utilized in some of our services. So this is a daily chart of crude oil. And you'll see three examples on the chart. And you guys and gals can read all of this onto the right. I'm gonna look at the chart and work my way from left to right, okay? So here we have a 52 week high indicated by the red one circle. We have a very small compressed one, two, three top. And then we get a break below that number two. We get a break and close below that number two. We get a retest and it meets our $3,000 contract objective. How do we determine that? Remember your targets, the distance between the high of the one measure to the low of the two, measure down. We reach our target objective, and then we go sideways. So I get asked a lot, Siles, does this work in sideways or consolidating markets? And the answer is, is yes. You can trade one, two, threes all you want. You've got a one, two, three here, but I'm looking for new session highs, or new session lows. So we have a new high here, this high greater than this high. So we get a new count, one, two, three, top, trend line break. We break below the number two. We get three, four days here of retest, giving you plenty of time to consider entering this trade. So we break below, we get a retest. We quickly beat our $4 or $4,000 per contract price objective. And then we break down. In fact, we break down another $20,000 a contract. And all we're doing is trailing the market until we get a potential reversal pattern or we get stopped out. And we start to get a new pattern here. One, two, with a one, two, three. But what happens? The market sells off, takes out the number one low. We start the count over. Here we have a one, two, three. After flushing out another $10,000 a barrel. We get this final low here, one, two, three bottom, break above the number two, and we reach our $5 or $5,000 per contract price objective. Now, here is an example with this pattern, one, two, three pattern inside of Metastock on crude oil. Daily chart here, breaking down, reaching target one. Here we are, one, two, three top. Breaking down, reaching target one, target two. Let's look at another example. This one in gold. Now, this is actually GLD, the ETF that tracks uh, gold futures. I like to look at gold futures because the chart's a little bit cleaner, but you can use GLD or the ETF. So here we have a new high, one, two, three. We break down below the number two. We get a retest. We reach our $4 profit objective. 
We continue lower, find a new bottom, a new low, one, two, three, bottom. We break above the number two, get a retest, reach our $2 per contract price objective. Again, what about this sideways, this noise, this consolidation? Well, we have a one, two, three top. We have a one, two, three bottom. That's okay. You can trade those all day long if you wish. I'm looking for new highs. I'm looking for new lows. We start to get new lows. Okay, we have a one, two, three. Notice that this candle right here takes out that number one low. Start to count over. One, two, three. We break above the number two. We gap higher, actually. Boom, boom. We come back down, retest, hook back up. That's our confirmation to get long gold. How? We buy gold futures. We buy minis, micros. We buy options on futures. We can buy GLD. We can buy call options, sell bull put spreads, trade gold CFDs, whatever it is. There's no excuse not to miss out on these kinds of opportunities. All right. The last setup that I added here in gold, Metastock was a $106 move, a $10,600 move, and was continuing plowing to its target objective. Very, very powerful stuff. Delta Airlines. This is becoming redundant by now, but I'm just trying to hit home the fact that this is a repeatable process. We have a one, two, three bottom here, reaches $4 profit objective. One, two, three top here. This is a gap below the number two. I'm not, I typically personally don't uh, chase those. I've got students and members that will reach your $4 profit objective, a new one, two, three top. Here we are aggressively selling off below the number two, reaches $8 profit objective. New one, two, three bottom, breaks above, trades higher, comes back, retest, and zips up $8 per share. Last setups in Delta, long, 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 short. Our Forex traders, Cad Swissy, it's works extremely well on the four hour and daily charts. Works just as good on a 30 minute and hourly too. You choose what time frame you want to trade. New session low, one, two, three, double bottom, breaks above the number two, retest and or hooks back up, reach your 70 pit prop objective. Okay, that's great. What do you do now? You sit back and you wait for a new pattern. Potential one, two, three, no. Potential one, two, three, top, no. Potential one, two, three, top, no. One, two, three, top, no. Finally, one, two, three, top. Breaks down, reaches our 40 pit prop objective. Last four setups on the Canadian Swiss. Day traders out there. Five minute chart of the NASDAQ. Session low, gives us a new number one point. One, two, three. Breaks above, comes down, hooks back up. There's your entry, 13 points or $260 a contract. One, two, three top, breaks down, goes sideways. We might have to pop some tums. Falls out of bed, reaches our 20-point profit objective. New session low, one, two, three bottom, breaks above. If you're lucky enough to get long in that retest, you reach your 30-point profit objective in about two bars. And here is another example of this rinse and repeat setup. So I'm going to ask you, why are you here? You're here to learn a mechanical done for you strategy for all markets and all time frames. This is the part of the workshop where I'm going to ask you, have I fulfilled my promise up to this point? Have I fulfilled my promise up to this point? I don't know how to make it any easier or any simpler, simpler than what I've already showed you. We should all be seeing basically the same thing, where to get in, where to get out. If we had a hundred traders looking at the same chart, 99 should be seeing the same thing. It's always one person that needs to overanalyze. This is not rocket surgery. Now, I must ask, I must say, but wait, there's more. Do you remember those recent case studies we went over? Crude, gold, Delta, NASDAQ, and so on. What if this strategy was automated? 
What if the strategy was plotted onto your chart for you? What if the trigger entry and targets were drawn for you? And what if your platform could scan the markets for you and tell you when there is a pending setup? I don't know about you, but I would say that'd be pretty freaking amazing. Well, those charts that we just looked at, here is with here are those charts with the special sauce. It's not difficult. Green arrow is one, red arrow is two, blue arrow is three. One, two, three. Now, once we get a break of a number two candle, we have a white chevron that appears on the chart. That's indicating, waving to us saying, hey, we've broken below the number two. Hey, we've broken above the number two candle. If and when that happens, we're going to get these four beautiful lines plot onto your chart. This is the entry level, target one, target two, and risk. Risk is above the high of one. Risk is below the low of the number one. Target, remember, the distance between the high of the one measured to the low of the two measured down. And target two is two times the distance of TP1. Here we are in gold, GLD. Here's our signal, one, two, three, bottom. We get an arrow as we break above the number two, target one, target two. Delta Airlines, one, two, three, bottom, one, two, three, top, one, two, three, top, one, two, three, bottom. Over and over again. Five minute NASDAQ. One, two, three, hits target one, hits target two to the T. Target two happened to be a new session low. We start to count over one, two, three, bottom, break above, come down, hook back up, hit TP1. Don't hit target two, but it's close enough for government work. You shouldn't have lost any money. We go sideways, new session low right here. This low lower than this low. One, two, three. The market just nips its little head there above the number two, triggering the signal, hits TP1 right here. Notice as we're working to target two, we're starting to get new session highs. This is indicating or cluing us in, hey, we may need to get ready to go short. When we hit TP2, we do get a new session high, one, two, three top, we break down, hook back up, hit TP1, hit TP2. Pretty cool, right? Now, is this training for you? Is this training for you? Only you and you only can answer this. If you are new to the markets and want to jumpstart your success, if you're an experienced trader and want to add another arrow to your trading quiver, if you're tired of all the noise, indicator overload, paralysis analysis, if you just want to simplify your process, this is something that you can do very part-time. Check at the end of the day. Check at night. Check in the morning before you go to work. Very, very powerful. There's some more examples here on Cardinal Health, giving you a one, two, three long, giving you a one, two, three long, giving you a one, two, three short. I used to sit here and manually calculate all of this. I'd go, well, that looks like a number one. That looks like a number two. That looks like a number three. Well, if I measure $49.76 minus $38.03, that's going to give me $4.37. I'm going to add that higher. No. Nah. We don't have time to do that. I was looking through hundreds of markets a day. Totally inefficient. So we had it programmed, had it built out. This in Google. Tell me, could you have shorted Google? Could you bought put options? Could you sold bear call spreads? I love trading credit spreads personally. I would have come out, come out here and sold bear call spreads. Sold bear call spreads. Four hour chart of the Canadian dollar. There's your long, there's your short. 233 tick chart on the E-mini S&P for those that like a little bit more action. But hold on. Why do all the work when we let technology do the work for us? This is a scanner running for one, two, three tops in the Russell 1000, only stocks that are optionable, $20 a share or greater. Boom, I get my alerts with about a click of a mouse button. Actually, these are populated for me around the clock. To find, to find trades and ideas like this in Metastock.
We also have it available on TradeStation, Ninja 8, Wealth Charts, TradingView, and MT4. Now, we know there's no real crystal ball in the markets, but I like to view this as a tool that gives me a nice, clean scan of the markets, locating the setup. I go to my platform for entry, and then I manage and exit that trade. It's a rinse and repeat process. And you can start profiting from these predictable patterns with the 3S code. So here is the offer you simply cannot refuse. For the first 25 spots, you're going to get the 3S indicator, indicator and scanner, 3S code optimizer, weekly strategy and scan sessions, plus access to my private telegram room. You're going to get three additional bonuses if you're the first 25, all for a one-time single payment of $397. This is a lifetime fee, guys. You own it for life. There's no renewals. There's no subscriptions. You get access to all platforms available. The offer is metastock.com forward slash code. And just put that into the chat box. Guys can also call 502-383-1182 if you'd like to call and speak with a team member, okay? Now, I wanna quickly go over some additional information so it's crystal clear of what you're getting. You are getting access to the following platforms, Metastock, Thinkorswim, TradeStation, Ninja8, TradingView, MT4, and Wealth Charts. Full disclaimer, there is no scanner in TradingView, it's just a limitation of the platforms, but you're gonna get a scanner for all other platforms. All right. Now you're also getting access to my live weekly strategy and scan sessions. In fact, my next one is tomorrow. They're held every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern. We talk about the top setups, top down analysis using the three S code today and swing trade using options, trading minis, micros, and much, much more. Now you're also going to get the Full indicator and scanner suite. This is where we're giving a or providing a visual plot of the one, two, three top and bottom reversals with a complete entry, exit, stop, target levels, customizable settings, multiple look back periods where you can scan for setups only, trigger only, or both. You can scan for tops, bottoms, or both, swing trades, day trades, and more. You're also going to get the 3S code optimizer. This is where you're taking the mechanical one, two, three top and bottom strategy and allows you to create and run multiple back tests across different inputs and settings to allow you to find the best optimization parameters that fit your style of trading. This is the 3S optimizer here in Thinkorswim, 3S optimizer here in TradingView. TradeStation and Ninja Trader allows you to run multiple tests, back tests, and scans to see how those results would have yielded. Now, I'm also going to throw in additional bonus one to make this a no brainer. The training manual here, my chart pattern principle manual and guide, will help jumpstart you by teaching you how the market works, why markets move the way they do, who the players are and how to look at and understand the market the proper way, plus bonus setups and how we use the power of seasonality to trade the one, two, three pattern. Bonus two is my 25 top option strategy guide. Strategies for all account sizes, I include this guide because I believe options are a very powerful trading instrument if you know how to use them properly. So it's important for me to include this so everybody can take advantage of options if you wish to do so and do it the right way using the 3S code strategy. Bonus three is access to our private Telegram channel. You're gonna get lifetime access to this as well. We cover stocks, ETFs, indices, futures, commodities, currencies. This is where I'm providing 
setups every single day along with full weekly analysis. Now, the proof is in the pudding. These testimonials come in all the time. I don't ask for them. They come in and it's because people are taking action and therefore seeing results. So who here is ready to get started with the 3S code? You guys can go to the link to secure your 25 uh, top 25 spot, or you can call 1-800-882-3040 and ask or ask your questions or place your order over the phone. So I'm going to uh, cover this offer one more time. This is the complete offer. And then I'm gonna take a swig of water and start answering some questions. So bear with me one moment. Uh, what is the risk on the trade? The risk is is built in for you. It's the distance, which are not, excuse me, it's below the number one for a long or above the number one for a short. Now, you obviously can place your risk where wherever it is that meets your risk objectives. Uh, but that is where the initial risk goes with a buffer. And then we we move and we manage that uh, along with the market. Um, do I yeah, get I an alert? So we have, um, I'm, I'm giving you an alert or uh, not an alert, a trade idea every day inside of our Telegram room. But you can set your own alerts based on what markets, asset classes and time frames you wish to track or follow. Okay, so if you're if you set your scanner up to scan across stocks with shares higher than fifty bucks and maybe open interest greater than a hundred thousand, alerts that come in or setups that are coming in may differ from from mine because maybe I have more stringent parameters or maybe I have more uh, conservative parameters. Does it come with training? Yes, it does. Comes with a full training guides and manuals inside the members area and with our weekly sessions and that gives you an opportunity to ask me questions in real time as we analyze the markets. Hey Silas, I don't know if it'd be a good time to talk to throw in some questions, but we have a ton on YouTube right now. Okay. Uh, the Silvery Stars wanted to know if you use Fibonacci to figure out targets. Uh, I don't use Fibonacci uh, so so much for finding targets, but I will use them as a confluence piece for entry. So um, I will do a, a breakdown. Uh, I usually do higher time frame analysis, and I do love it when these setups are occurring at certain Fibonacci points. But basically, our, our premium and discount areas, 618, 786s, uh, I'm not using them so much for targets. I'm, I'm letting the pattern uh, kind of cover that itself. Yeah. And then just to confirm what that is, because um, I tried to type this out <laughs> in the chat, but I just want to make uh, sure that I've got it straight too. Your initial stop loss target? is going to be one, right? Yeah. Target, the target one is the distance. Okay. Let's, so let's talk about a long, long mm -hmm. pattern. It's okay. the distance, if I had my drawing tool, I'd do it here. Um, it's the distance between the low of the one measured to the high of the two measured up. So that's gonna be target one. And target two is two times the distance of that. So if if we're looking at X, Y, Z market, and the distance between the low of the one measured to the high of the two is $50, let's say, it's, let's say the low is $300, and the uh, high of the number two is three hundred fifty dollars. Your target would be four hundred dollars. That makes sense. Yep. <laughs> and then it's just completely inverse for shorts. It's the high of the one measured to the low of the two. So if your high was a hundred dollars and the low of that number two was fifty dollars, you take hundred minus fifty, and then you subtract that from the low of the two. So it is a one-to-one, -one. so it's a one-to-one -one right off the bat, but we more often than not, we're gonna see markets uh, materialize in our anticipated direction, and then we can start adjusting risk. But you you do have to let the, the market or the trade breathe. You know, a lot of us are probably guilty uh, of what I call choking the trade out too soon, 
uh, by, you know, by adjusting stops and, and things of that nature. Um, it is important to try and let it breathe. Now, the second target is double that distance, right? That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then and do you have to... About, yeah, go ahead. Go I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead and finish your thought. No, I was just going to say, like, we, we have, we talk about this, like, in, in our training, our manuals, as well as uh, in the weekly sessions, um, you know, making sure we have confluence, like, we like to look to the left and say, hey, is that target one objective? Does it kind of line up with other things going on to the left? You know, like, do we have, uh, do we have a swing high, a swing high to target? Do we have, uh, you know, or we'll call it, you can call it a fractal high or whatever you want to, whatever you wish. Um, maybe it's a fib confluence for those that like to use fib. Um, does it, uh, lost my track. Oh, do we have imbalance to fill? Th things of that nature. So it's just kind of, you know, uh, stacking the odds. We, we're not making it complicated, but we, we are, we do like to stack the odds when we can, you know, why not? I lost my thought too. <laughs> oh, sorry. you have specific, like, so if I hit target one, am I going to tighten a stop? Am I going to get rid of half of my position? Is there a general rule of thumb that you would recommend? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and that's obviously going to depend on, you know, be different and uh, per trader. But my kind of rule of thumb is if we get to uh, at least 50 and, and you know, whoever's uh, using this or trading this can, can maybe test this out on their own. But if you're getting to 50, 60, 70 percent of your profit objective, uh, i.e. target one, uh, I am going to most of the time move my stops up to break even or even lock in a little profit. And Perfect. by doing that, you know, you will get stopped out or more uh, earlier, more often. Right. But then again, you're also protecting your, your capital. Cool. Another question we had was from Firem. Um, he wanted to know, would you use this alone or would you combine it with other confluences or indicators? I don't really combine it with other indicators. Um, I do have, you know, I talked about divergence of being kind of like a another confluence piece. I just happen to have, I mean, anybody can add uh, an oscillator or whatever to the bottom of their, their chart and and have and use con confluence. I just happen to have another indicator, a divergence indicator that um, I like to see, you know, in in combination with the one, two, three. I, do I have to have it? No, but it is a confluence piece. Um, I do have, you know, I'll, I'll look at momentum too, just by seeing the, the strength of the trend, you know, with a, a couple moving averages. But um, it's really, it's really designed to be kind of like a one look glance and be like, okay, you know, what's going on in the market? Do we take all, all signals, all trades? No. So when people ask, you know, what's the win loss rate and what's the percentage of success? Well, hell, that's impossible to answer, you know, because there are different settings. There, you, there are different settings uh, that, pe that people can manipulate if they wish. And then it's also about well, what trades did you take? I mean, there's, there are, um, I don't know, how many time frames available or can one physically trade? 35 time frames from a, a tick chart all the way up to a, a yearly. <laughs> so it's, what what are you taking? How are you taking it? And then how are you managing that trade? You know, ultimately, how are you managing your trade? How are you managing that risk? If that makes any sense. Great answer. Yeah, great answer. Firem, and I will do this. Uh, I will do this in just a second. I'm all ready to show this, but he wanted to see how to scan for opportunities in the Meta Stock Explorer. So once we're all kind of wrapped up, I'll kind of come in and just show how easy that process is. I'm already, I've already got it ran. So um, okay. um, that, I don't know if you have the ability to look at a live chart, but we had a question on a scan that came up uh, just a couple of days ago, and I can show it on my screen if you'd like. Yeah, I actually I need to get with you uh, to re-download because I I just got a new uh, computer and I need to I'm in the in the process of kind of adding everything that I had uh, lost. <laughs> okay, so here, yeah, can you see my screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. 
Um, let me go ahead and jump over to, this is H-E. He uh, apparently came up on a scan just a couple of days ago. You had your one, two, three pattern. And um, uh, Silvery Stars wants to know if he should still hold on to this. Uh, so this is where you you either enter on that initial breakout, uh, initial break there where you see the green arrow, or if you um, if you utilize the second pass. So when you come, it comes back again and loops back above fifteen. I mean, should should you stay in it? What, what is this market? This is a is this Hawaiian Electric? This is H E Hawaiian Electric. Yes. Okay. I saw HE, I was like, that's either Lean Hogs or Hawaiian Electric, because I've actually been looking at Hawaiian Electric. Um, I mean, again, it when you say, should you stay in it, I mean, I don't know what your objectives are or your risk. Uh, for me, this might be something where I sold deep out of the money puts, you know, and I might be willing to hold on a little bit longer and or I might be willing to take uh, the exercise on that if I got a sign. So it really, if you bought call options or the stock, you're underwater. You know, depending on where you enter or sold put options, you might be flat, maybe up a little bit, maybe down a little bit. It ultimately depends on on your time horizon. Like I don't know, I don't know how you own how you own this or how you're long this. Um, I mean for me, I would consider an entry if we got back above that initial break of the number two. I right. not only see a one, two, three bottom, I see a head and shoulders bottom or inverse head and shoulders. Um, I would also, I go back and uh, look to the left as much as I can. Do I have long-term uh, price structure back here at all? I don't know if we've ever been down here. I assume that we were down here. Some We've been down here at some point maybe might have to go to a monthly chart. You know, I don't know. Yeah, it's been a but minute for sure. If we, if the market has come down here to long-term demand, then, I mean, it's it's a value opportunity, right? Stocks, stock is cheap. There's still risk in it, but it's certainly a, a value play. I mean, it's, it's at the, it's at the mercy of some very bad things that have happened, but, um, but yeah. Yeah, it looks like the last time I got this so was back in 2009, very briefly. Yeah, we know we know what happened during that that period. This I've been looking at, at this stock, so it's interesting that this was brought up. Um, and it's been very tempting to to take a position, but it's but at, at the end of the day, I'm just kind of like mm, maybe, maybe this is something I should stay away from, you know, until they kind of sort out the mess that's going on. Okay, uh, that catches us up on questions for YouTube, except for the uh, demo for the scanner, and I'll show how that works. Um, okay. um, I, I don't think we have any other questions other than that. Um, should I just take over from here? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Uh, thanks, thanks so much again for having me on. I really do appreciate it, and uh, always a, an excellent crowd. And uh, I want to give a shout out to the new new students and members. I look forward to seeing you guys in the market. Oh, we did have one more question, <laughs> if you don't mind, before we do that. Yeah. Uh, Fire wanted to know, how would you how would you say to an unfinished downtrend market? Oh, uh, let's see. We may hit multiple. Do you, uh, I, I guess this is a kind of a more of a broad market question. Do you think we're done with the downtrend, I think is what he's asking. Uh, for, for, for this stock? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, just just looking at this and knowing that you no, know, since you went back to the left, I mean, mm -hmm. we got a reaction as we would have expected. You know, coming down to that to that long term monthly was like a what twelve or thirteen year low. You mm -hmm. saw the reaction and traded a little bit through it, which is not uncommon. Uh, and then now we're getting, you know, you can see the momentum has has kind of dried up. That selling momentum has kind of dried up, at least temporarily. Um, you know, I think you're going to have this is a this stock is a little bit different than most because we've got, a, you know, a pretty serious situation going on. And if it, it's been obviously beat up and but if they come out and they say, hey, you know, 
there's a multiple class action lawsuit and this and that, then, uh, I mean, it's certainly the thing could go to go lower, could go to zero, you know, but, uh, that I don't know. That's why we use stops. Okay. Thank you, Silas. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you, uh, uh, Jeff and Metastock for having me on. I've always appreciated it and, uh, look forward to the next event. All right. Very cool. Um, all, all right. And then let me go in here. And just to show you how easy it is to scan, because one of the things I absolutely love about Metastock, one of the things I think we do best here at Metastock is scanning. So let me go ahead and open up uh, what we call our power console. I'm going to go ahead and kind of just move this over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of just open up. This is where we open up charts. If you use Metastock for a while, thank you. Uh, but um, you kind of know this is where you kind of run everything. What we call scanning in Metastock, we call it Explorer, the scanning engine. And what I've done is I've just loaded in um, the 3S. Uh, so I've, I've come in here to all the scans. I've done. I've added 3S to the search filter, and it's just listed all of the 3S scans. Now, one of the things that I want to kind of talk about is um, kind of the scans that are available. And uh, one of the things that I really like about 3S code is it's very, very customizable. So you can go in here and configure 3S to have a certain amount of days between bars, a minimum amount of retracement between certain positions, and it's very, very customizable in terms of the way that you can kind of configure the indicator. For the most part, what I want to show today is just kind of the built-in stuff and kind of the stuff that's factory out of the box. So what I want to kind of explain is like these are all of the different scans that are available in Metastock. So you've got the long signal, Basically, this is going to find these arrows on the chart. So if I'd run a scan, I've already established when I if I run this scan, I'm I've already established my one, my two, my three spot, and I'm just looking for a breakout. So I'm looking for something that's actually already got the trigger in place. It triggered on the current bar, so that'd be today, and is ready to go. Okay. The other scan that I can run, actually one of the other scans, and you so that would be what is called the long signal and the short signal. Um, whether you're looking for long position or short positions, that's what you're looking for. If I want to see things that are kind of gearing up, the scan that I'd run is the setup scan, okay? And so for those, what I'm looking for is a, uh, it's already established a one, two, three position, but it hasn't broken out of a trade, okay? And then like the last, the last type of a, a scan that's available is the long position management. And what it's going to do is just going to list you all of the stocks that are currently in a long position, uh, what the what the actual trigger price was, what the exit price is, what the stop loss value is, that kind of stuff. Okay. So, for example, just to kind of show you how easy this is to do, I'm going to basically run the long position uh, setup, or the long setup and the long signal. Okay. One of the things that I think we do also do very well is market coverage. So with Metastock, we get all of our data through Refinitiv, uh, who's now rebranding themselves as the London Stock Exchange Group, but they're one of the biggest providers of data on the planet. So if you're joining us from somewhere in Asia and you want to be able to follow, I don't know, any uh, like the, an Asian market, uh, for example, like Bombay maybe, uh, the uh, Hanoi, uh, Hong Kong, uh, any of the major, uh, any of the major, the Taiwanese market, the Shanghai, Shenzhen, all these markets, you could select this. So you could use this 3S code pattern on any of those Asian markets. If you're in Europe and you want to do European, of course, we have London, we have um, uh, the Middle East, we have Africa, we've got Athens, all of the major exchanges. In fact, one of the best things that we have is just a broad collection of, of exchanges. There's over 300 exchanges in, I, by using Metastock, I could scan anything, any of 321,000 instruments right now. So what I'm going to do, though, just to kind of keep things fast, kind of show you how it works, is right here, I've come into the list that's called the index constituents. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Dow Jones Industrial, so I've already got it selected. I'm going to do the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100. I've already got those selected as well. And if I just want to run the long setup and the long signal, I've got those selected up here. I've got the universe I want to scan down here. It's just a matter of starting the scan. And we'll go ahead and run it right now. So since I've selected multiple instruments, it's going to start up with those long setups. It's going through, uh, what did I pick? 526 individual stocks. And you'll notice right here, it's rejecting about 98% of those. 
So, and that's one of the things I love about scanning personally is you can just eliminate, I can focus on the stuff that has an opportunity and I can ignore all the rest of the clutter. You know, for me, I'd rather look at two stocks and a hundred stocks, I'd rather look at 20 than 200. So for this allows me to go in and focus on kind of the stuff that makes sense. Okay. So the first one is run, it's run through that long setup and now it's doing the long signal. But for the first one out of it, I got 12 setups. Okay. And so if I look right here before I even open up the stocks, um, I've got a long, a close price is, is this, uh, I've got a trigger price and then the volume. Okay. And so if I'm looking here, while Disney Corporation right now has, uh, it's closed at 80 bucks. It's trading right now at $80. If it goes to 82, it's going to trigger into a trade, a long trade. Okay. Um, and there was the volume on it. Uh, this signal re will reset if it gets down to 80, 63. Okay. So this, if I, if I want to be able to kind of build a watch list and just watch for breakouts, this is perfect for that. But if I'm in the middle of the trading day and I want to find something that's actually trading, something that's signaled today, I can come to this long signal. And I ran that scan too. And instead of 536, I've all narrowed that down to just two. Two today that have triggered a signal. So right here, that's uh, ZMMR Biomaterial Holdings. Um, it's triggered. Uh, you, If you bought that, right now it's trading at 122. Your stop loss would be 113. Your first target would be 128. Your second target would be 135. You can see that even before you open the chart. Uh, the second stock would be Dexcom. If I'm looking at 107, uh, it's a, it's trading right now at 107.35. Uh, your stop loss would be 98. Your target would be 115. And your second target would be 124. So of course I can open that up. We'll go ahead and open up Dexcom just because it had a trigger today. And you can see exactly kind of how, um, um, let's go ahead and zoom in just a little bit here. Uh, we just had a, a bit of a long one, two, three, came down in here. Uh, we did hit our first target and then immediately set up for reversal that's triggering right now. So if I kind of come in here and look at it, we've got our one position here, two, three, and it's triggered kind of on a reversal bounce right here. Our initial target's going to be right here at 115. Our second target is going to be up here at 124, and all of that is hand listed on the chart. The other thing that's fairly unique about Metastock that I really, really like is the commentary. I really like the way Silas has designed this. It's very, very easy to read. We can see exactly where the points are, where our entry signals are, where our targets are. All of those are kind of drawn out for us. I can also kind of get a, a, a bit of an explanation. If I come in here, I'm going to go ahead and click on View. I'm going to go to the Expert Commentary. And it's going to identify kind of all of those things. So right now there's a new entry found that we found it because we scanned for it. Uh, the strategy one, two, three patterns typically gives you some ideas about what the pattern is. But it's also going to tell us like our stop loss, our target, our second target, and kind of break all that stuff down for you. So very, very, very good chart. So yeah, Nyla has there you go. There's some current charts for you. Uh, you wanted to look at some current charts. The best way to look at current charts, I feel, is to do a scan. So there you go. Of course, it's not a recommendation to buy. We can't legally do that, but that's how we found it. And I'd encourage that if you want to try this out, it's a really, really uh, uh, popular pattern. It does a, a really, really good job. But what I want to also say, here's a, a, a box art. Um, and I just have a bunch of information in here that Silas talks about. Uh, one of the things that I really, really like about this one, two, three pattern is the support that Silas puts behind it. So I've, I've seen very, very similar patterns like the M pattern and the W pattern. And this is all a one-time cost. But for $497, you're going to get access to his private telegram room. You're going to get the chart pen, pattern principle trading course, the cheat sheet, the 25 top option strategy guides. You can get support either through Silas or you know our support here at Metastock is awesome. You can reach out to our support team. You're going to get those monthly strategy and scan sessions. I believe Silas said that the next session is actually tomorrow. He might have said or Thursday. Actually, tomorrow is Thursday. Labor Day kind of threw me off a little bit. I always kind of I get confused when I get a day off. But um, I believe he said the next strategy session was tomorrow. Uh, but you get that. For a one-time cost, you get access to all of his scan sessions, all of his strategy sessions. 
uh, when you buy this, you own it for every single platform. Of course, you want to use it with Metastock. It's, in my humble opinion, the best. I'm unbiased, of course, <laughs> but uh, you also get it for any other platform. So you might be using at the same price instead of having to pay for each individual platform as well. So I think it's incredible. We're going to do a post Labor Day special on this. Instead of $497, it's going to be $397. You can order that at metastock.com slash code. You can go to metastock.com slash sales chat. You can give us a call at 800-882-3040. So, um, so there you go. Uh, Nilesh, I hope we looked at some current charts for you. So you never know. Uh, so Silvery Stars says uh, you'll never know if it will continue the uptrend or if it will retrace before another touch of the two. And it might retrace, and that's always like, um, I, I think for me, when I'm in a position, the thing that I like most about it is you know where your stop loss is. So not all the patterns are going to work out as they never do, um, but you always know exactly kind of where to get in, where your stop loss is, where your targets are, and you're not making those decisions kind of heat of the battle. You know where they're going to kind of come in. So in any case, I do want to say thank you to Silas for coming in and spending about an hour with us. I really appreciate it. Um, for all of those that uh, that used uh, that watched us today and liked and subscribed, I appreciate that. I hope you learned a little bit about the MW or 123 pattern. Uh, thanks for coming in. If you enjoyed the video and you're watching us on YouTube, hit like, hit subscribe. We do videos like this all the time uh, and subscribing will get you more of them. It does also help us a great deal. Try this out though. 397, we will back that with a money back guarantee. Um, if you need a platform to try it with, you want to try it with Metastock, we'd recommend that. Our Metastock software has been rated through number one 30 years in a row. And we'll give you a free trial with this with a 30 day money back guarantee. So metastock.com slash code 800-882-3040 or metastock.com slash sales chat. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you at the uh, next one. Stay healthy, uh, stay well. Thanks, guys. Hi, Kelly Clement here from Metastock. Before you go, I have two quick things for you. One, thanks for joining us today. We love having you here at our webinars and viewing our videos. So what I'd like to invite you to do before you go is like and subscribe. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps us a great deal and it helps us bring you more awesome content like today's video. The second thing is we have a great ebook on trading that you can get for free. If you go to metastock.com slash YouTube book, you can get a free copy of The Secrets of Successful Traders. It's a great book with lots of content from traders just like yourself who can teach you some of the secrets that they have learned. Thanks for taking a second with me and learning about those two things. Thanks for joining us and keep on trading.